the Pune police cybercrime cell has asked banks to freeze 1,500 accounts, after detecting that they were used for frauds. The huge figure throws open the sheer magnitude, of rising number of online crime incidents. A police official claimed that, most of the fraudsters' accounts are in Mumbai, Delhi and other cities in the country. These accounts are opened by submitting fake PAN card, driving license and address proof details. Investigators say that sometimes fraudsters pay money, to people for using their bank accounts for illegal transactions. As expected, variants of the infamous Zeus banking Trojan, are becoming more adept at hiding their presence from users and AV solutions, and at preventing malware analysis tools from examining them. Some Zeus variants now come equipped with a, 64-bit version of the malware embedded in them, to be served to targets preferring a 64-bit browser. They also have a Tor component, that runs a Tor client as a hidden service and reports to the CNC server and, acting also as a server, allows bot masters to access the victim's computer, and execute malicious code. But the biggest news is the improvement of evasion techniques. The Irish Data Protection Commissioner, who regulates online privacy for most of the world, is looking into Adobe's mega breach last year, in which the details of at least 38 million people were purloined by criminals. The DPC is now investigating the massive Adobe theft, following a number of complaints from British users. 